Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Maddie and I'm on a journey to lose weight but also live a happier and healthier life. Now the purpose of today's video is I'm going to be talking about how reconnecting with nature can help with our mental health. So over the weekend, David and I had decided to go to a park here in Vietnam. This park is called Dragon Park. I'll leave the Vietnamese name on the screen here. The reason we decided to go here is because not that long ago, we were living in Calgary and there they have so many pathways that go through parks, parts of the woods, and all of this is within the city. But here in Ho Chi Minh City, we don't necessarily have access to that. There are some parks here, but there's not as many trees, the pathways aren't that long, and it's overall pretty noisy as well. So we just found ourselves not as drawn to those parks. Now, there is one park that we are a little bit interested in, but it's also all the way across the city and not as easily accessible and even then like the pathways are really short so we decided to go a little bit farther outside the city really get that feeling just taking the time to reconnect with nature and escape from our daily lives and that's exactly what i'm going to be talking about today Life can feel like a never-ending cycle of work and responsibilities. But what if I told you that taking just a little bit of time to go on a walk or travel around can have remarkable benefits for your well-being? In this video, I'm going to explore why these activities are more than just a leisurely pursuits. First of all, walks and travel can provide a much needed escape from our daily routines. They offer a change of scenery, allowing us to break free from the monotonous grind. Whether it's a walk in the local park or an adventure to a faraway land, these experiences help us disconnect from our work and recharge our minds. And that's exactly what David and I did here. We went to the park because we definitely needed a change of scenery. We wanted to escape from the noise, all of the noise here in Ho Chi Minh City. It can be super loud and overwhelming, but not only that, we wanted to escape to get away from some of the concrete colors. We wanted to see more greenery, and it definitely did offer a change of scenery and pace. The pace was so different compared to Ho Chi Minh City. Ho Chi Minh City is quite a lively city and it can be very attractive to some people. But David and I, we definitely needed a change of scenery and so that's why we went to this park. Taking a stroll or traveling allows us to disconnect from our digital devices and immerse ourselves in the present moment. Whether it's the rustling leaves in the forest or the soothing sound of ocean waves, these experiences offer mental relaxation and a break from the constant hustle and bustle. I found it immensely soothing to be walking through this park. Even though there was quite a few people, it wasn't overcrowded and the interactions were pretty positive. Now, most of the people were concentrated at the front of the park, but as you got deeper in, there were less people, but also more to see. I found myself thinking less about the daily pressures that I typically face and focusing more on the moment, just really enjoying myself enjoying all of the things the park had to offer. There were so many flowers, there were also quite a few interesting structures to see. I found myself stopping multiple times to take so many pictures because I was like, oh my gosh, this place is stunning. 
Now, as we were going through the park, it did rain quite a bit. We ended up having to stop and try to find refuge under one of the gazebos that were in the park. I really wish I would have filmed this part, but I didn't. We were there for probably 30 minutes trying to wait out the rain. And we laid, what we ended up doing is we laid down our little raincoat that we had to carry with us. We laid that down on the floor of the gazebo and we just laid down, listened to the rain and then also watched the deer that were across the way. So even though it was raining and it seemed kind of dreary, we both found it pretty enjoyable, just taking it as a positive moment, not really letting the rain hold us back. So if you are looking for a mental escape, go on a walk or go on a hike. And as you're going or walking, try not to look at your phone or think about how much time has passed. Don't worry too much about the daily pressures and stressors that you have. Focus on the moment. Focus on the beauty of the path or even just the beauty in general. Try to notice certain things, look around and see if there are any great images that you can capture. That's what I ended up doing quite a bit as we were walking. Just noticing the beauty of everything. I noticed the beauty in a lot of the flowers that I had never seen before. A lot of the plants in the area were completely new to me. I enjoyed looking out at the lake and seeing like, wow, this view is stunning. So as you're going on your own walk, just notice all of the beautiful things. Focusing on the present moment is beneficial for our mental health for several reasons. When we focus on the present moment, we shift our attention away from worries about the future or regrets about the past. By letting go of these thoughts and immersing ourselves in the present, we reduce stress and anxiety, allowing our minds to find a sense of calm. And I did that a lot throughout this walk. I stopped thinking about all of the projects I had to get done, about the work I had to correct, about some of the regrets that I was having from the past few days. I was just super stressed out throughout the week and during this walk, I was able to let all of that go. Really look at all of the beautiful things that this park had to offer. There were beautiful flowers, beautiful walkways. I just found myself fully enjoying the moment and finally releasing some of the stress that had built up. Now, focusing on the present also enhances mindfulness. Mindfulness is the practice of paying attention to the present moment intentionally and without judgment. When we cultivate mindfulness, we become more aware of our thoughts, emotions, and sensations in the present. This increases self-awareness and can help us better manage stress regulate our emotions, and respond to situations with greater clarity and composure. So the next time that you're on a walk, it doesn't matter where you're going, it doesn't necessarily have to be in a park or going on a long hike, but no matter where you go, just try to stay present in the moment. Don't think about the future. Don't think about the past. Think about what you're doing right now. And also try to maintain a neutral stance. So no matter what happens, try not to let your emotions go wild.